Prime London housing market reacts to the economic uncertainty. But are we heading to a London housing crash? A report from the Evening Standard found that London house prices dropped by £13,000 in a month as jittery buyers stepped back from the market. And Mortgage Strategy states that prime central London property prices fell 0.3% in October. And looking at a graph from Londres, we can see that under offer properties plunges. And this comes at a time when mortgage rates is absolutely at its highest for 14 years. So let's look at exactly what's happening in the prime London property market so you can make better informed decisions whether you look to buy, sell or invest. Now, even though you might not be happy with the mortgage rates at the moment, I'm sure you'll be more than happy to subscribe to this channel because it costs you absolutely nothing at all, take you literally a second and it'll help you keep informed with everything to do with London. So if you've been following my market updates, you'll know that Prime London has had a great run, a lot of activity, and yet the last week of September, after the mini budget, it was a turning point. It's not immune, of course, of the uncertainty, political and economical, and what we did see was property withdrawn from the market, sales fall through, and price reductions peaked. So we got jittery buyers and sellers, they're nervous and cautious at the end of September, followed through into October, and yet sales held its ground. In fact, it's 12% higher for the pre-pandemic average and 11% higher from October compared to the same time last year. Yet what's concerning is that sales falling through hit the roof 80%. So what does this mean? One of the metrics that concern me are the properties under offer. This is a leading indicator of activity in the market and could tell us whether there's going to be a slowdown in the future. Could this be temporary? That's why we like to keep an eye on this on a week to week basis. However, following the mini budget, the properties under offer fell for the first time since June 2020 at 9%. And if we compare October this year to last year, it's down by 20%. This is a clear indicator of activity slowing down and it will be great to see whether this is just an impact of the September announcement and if things are going to start stabilising if there's a little bit more confidence in the market. And let's not forget that the market reacts to both political and economical changes. So it's no surprise that both buyers and sellers are going to be cautious about the current economic environment, especially the mortgage rate. And what I'd like to do is just dive in more as to how this is impact both from a price point of view, but also a geographic point of view, in terms of who relies more on mortgage. Properties under offer have fallen most in prime fringe, areas such as Chiswick, Battersea, Hammersmith, and others. These are areas that are relatively low in price, and yet people rely on mortgages to actually buy their properties. If we break this down to houses, we can see that under offer properties fell around about 30%, and flats were around about 18%. Houses under offer in prime inner London saw a drop of 4%, while flats were down by 21%. Prime central London was down by 12% when it came to flats. Houses, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, was up by 38% under offer. And the ongoing lack of demand for flats in prime London can be a reflection of both first-time buyers having challenges with deposits and also very expensive mortgage rates now, but also with investors. Investors like certainty and at the moment a lot of them are on the fence and also facing very high mortgage rates at the moment or perhaps even limited packages from uh, mortgage providers. When it comes to new instructions coming onto the market in prime London, we can see it actually rose by 2% compared to this October last year and when it's compared to the pre-pandemic levels average, it's up by 5%. Withdrawn properties, despite all the chaos after the mini budget and all the withdrawn properties, we can see that compared to last year, it's actually lower only by 11%. So a good metric to follow if there's a London housing crash would be price per square foot achieved. And despite all the caution by buyers and sellers, price per square foot actually rose only by 0.8%, but it did increase. This can change very rapidly, as I said, so make sure you subscribe or reach out to us to keep up to date with all things to do with Prime London property.